Good morning, good morning guys. Back for another video here. This morning, I'm excited. It's just gonna be, it's a super chill, low key hunt. It's a mile from my house. Been watching these birds for like two weeks. There's only about 40 to 50 honkers in there every day. But got my nephew Wyatt. It's just him and I and my pup. Super easy setup. We're gonna run like 18 decoys, maybe two dozen. We can only hunt for about an hour and a half. We got some family things to do. So it'll be a quick and dirty one. Hopefully uh, knock out our eight birds, call it a morning, get back to hanging out with the family. So hope you guys are enjoying this waterfall series. Um, during this video, if you, if you see something that you like, you wanna see more of it, comment below. If you wanna see other types of videos, put that in the comments below. If you wanna see a challenge video, maybe take out my old single shot 20 gauge that I grew up hunting with. Whatever it is, let us know in the comments below. Um, we've been having fun putting these, these videos together. I think there's gonna be a lot more waterfall in our future. So with that, we're loaded up, we're going. Everybody, <sighs> gonna go goose hunting this morning. It's currently, uh, hold on, 6:38. Shooting lights, what? 7:18. Yep. Yep. We got. This is gonna be super easy. Two stools, panel blind, except maybe not even probably two dozen. So what's we good to go? Come here. Tell them what the people's what we've got here. We've got we got one minute, well, 30 seconds till shooting light. We're in good blind. We got a good spread, and uh, I don't know about Uncle Cody, but I'm really excited. Yeah, we're comfortable in a nice little under a tree. How do you like? You actually got a stool this time. I I do have a stool. It's even got a swivel a on. A swivel and a back. Yeah, my legs no longer hurt. That's good. Yeah. But we're going to see if we can kill eight geese. Eight geese? Eight geese. we got about an hour and a half to do it in. Yep. It's doable. It's doable. It's doable. They've been in here by four eight, so. Okay, that's good. Should be good. Yeah. You guys probably can't see yet, but we've got four over here. We're going to try to pull the birds the majority up on this side. Shoot them between the lights. The, that house is about... 500 yards, so we're we're good on shot, but I still don't like shooting that way. So we're gonna shoot them right there, hidden underneath this tree here, with a good back cover, and then added some uh, limbs out in front of the panel blinds. So looks pretty good. Give us a little update what what happened there. Well, we got geese coming, and we were sitting here, and all of a sudden, out of the nowhere, we hear honking right in front of us. We get ready, and we get, I get pumped up, my heart starts racing, because they just appeared, and then apparently they landed like 600 yards, probably, 700 yeah. in front of us. Long ways. Yeah, and they're right in the middle of the field, so we can't really stalk them, but we do have geese behind us in the air so maybe we could call him over here yeah Well, uh, we had about two two flocks fly over, and they haven't. They one of the flocks went and landed with those other geese, and then the other one just didn't like us. Apparently, it's like acting like they've been shot at a whole bunch, even though we don't think they really have. 
maybe they've came from somewhere where they've been shot and they recognize decoys. I don't, I don't know. Something. We thought we'd try to get away with the old uh, quick setup with silos and panel blinds along the fence, but it looks like to kill these things, we might have to do the old layouts and full bodies, DSDs. All right, we got some more, more birds coming. So this is what we're up against, right? There. So we were on a time constraint. What I wanted to do was hunt layouts um, out there in that good hide and hunt full bodies, but we didn't, didn't have time to cut grass, grass blinds, pull all that stuff out of there. We gotta be um, back to the house in 35 minutes. So we need some more birds. Don't wanna just work here on the lower half. I've seen these birds, I'm literally, my house is right over this hill. We're less, right at a mile from the house. So huge thanks to Calvin for letting us come out here. I understand his boy watches some born and raised. So shout out to Calvin's son. Not sure your name yet. I will meet you soon, very soon. It's pretty cool working with these landowners. A lot of, a lot of people are very generous. Nothing yet. Um, almost time, or it is time to pack up, I think. And Uncle Cody's gotta get the truck and I might stay and see if they fly over. Yep. Yep. Just real quick, this was what our hide was against the fence line. Not terrible. Ran 20 dive bombs, a couple over here, but all the birds are up in there with the cows right in there and on that pond. So some days you get them, some days you don't. Today was a day that we did not fire a shot. This is actually the first hunt of the season that I've not fired a shot. Me too. But hey, it's all good. Ah, oh, hopefully Wyatt will smash one while I go get the pickup. GoPro stop recording. No worries over nickels and dimes. Nine to five grind. I gotta get loose sometimes. In trouble.